Welcome to working session number seven, tolerance and non-discrimination, first part, including combating racism, xenophobia, and discrimination, combating anti-Semitism and intolerance and discrimination against Christians, Muslims, and members of other religions, and prevention and response to hate crimes in the OSC area. I would refer everyone to the annotated agenda to refresh your recollection of the list of questions for discussion today. And I would like to let everyone know that the speakers list is full with a considerable um, uh, wait list. So we will be limiting statements to two minutes. Please adjust your statement accordingly. I would also remind you that tomorrow we have two other sessions on tolerance and non-discrimination and encourage your participation in those as well. I would like to remind speakers that they can only take the floor in the capacity in which they are registered, and only entities registered on the speakers list can be represented. Please note that due to the narrow layout of the plenary hall, to facilitate entrance, we've introduced separate doors for participants corresponding to their designated seats. All participants are kindly requested to use their designated entrance. As always, seats in the HGM Plenary Hall are designated as indicated on signs placed around the table. All participants are kindly asked throughout the session to respect the seating arrangement. I would like to assure you that although there may be separate doors for you to come into the Plenary Hall, we all do end up in the same Plenary Hall together. I would like to remind participants that your interventions are expected to be presented in a meaningful, orderly, and respectful manner. We ask you to submit your statements before the sessions to the interpreters. They won't be distributed without your consent, and preferably to distribution to ensure the flow of documents that reflect the discussion. Statements should be provided to the documentation desk in front of the plenary hall. With those introductory remarks, I would like to uh, turn the floor over to our two introducers. Our first introducer today is Mr. Mohammed Kozbar. Mr. Kozbar is the chairman of the Finsbury Park Mosque, one of the most prominent Islamic centers in the United Kingdom, and vice president of the Muslim Association of Britain. He is a member of the Islington Faiths Forum representing the Muslim community in North London, and a regular IB Times UK columnist. He also sits on the diversity panel of the ITV London News. And Mr. Kozbar holds a master's degree in charity management from St. Mary's University. Mr. Kozbar, the floor is yours. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon, and peace be upon you all. I am Mohammed Kozbar, the chairman of Finsbury Park Mosque. No doubt some of you will have heard of this mosque mainly due to its troubled history. In this short presentation, I wish to talk a little bit about the work of the mosque and my involvement with it. And responding to hatred, racism, and Islamophobia. The current mosque in North London was opened to the public in 1993 at a ceremony attended by Prince Charles at that time. Unfortunately, the mosque was forcibly under the control of some extremists <coughs> linked to Abu Hamza from 1997 to 2005. This was a dark period for the mosque and the local community as these individuals and presented of mainstream Islam, used the premises to promote their ideology of hate, confrontation, and disunity. Thankfully, the extremists were ousted by the community.